South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol has warned of a crackdown against striking truckers. He said that the protests are illegal, unacceptable, and are taking the national supply chain hostage during an economic crisis. Posting a Facebook message late on Thursday, the president said that if the responsible, irresponsible denial of transport continues, the government will have no choice but to review a number of measures, including a work start order. Now, as per South Korea's law, the government can order to force transport workers back to their jobs in case of a serious transport disruption and those who go against the government's orders can be punished by up to three years in jail or a fine of nearly $22,000. The country's transport minister says that the government has already started drafting paperwork for the action and if that comes through, it will be the first time in Korean history for such an order to be issued. On Thursday, thousands of unionized truckers began their biggest strike in less than six months and just a day on. The strike is already showing signs of disrupting multiple industries. The Korea International Trade Association has said that it received 19 reports of disrupted logistics. This includes inability to bring in raw material, delayed deliveries and high logistical costs. The cement industry has also sustained revenue loss of an estimated $14 million on Thursday after shipments slumped to less than 10,000 tons due to the strike. Now, the striking truckers demand a minimum pay system to be made permanent, as well as expansion in benefits for truckers in across, across the countries here. Pardon me. The government has agreed to extend the minimum wage guarantees while rejecting all of their other demands. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.